Geo Wisdom Podcast Space Edition Round Two with Lefterios Plafuntis. He is CEO at Prometheus Space Technologies. Lefterios, reminder of who you are and what uh, Prometheus does. Hi, Charles. Thank you for uh, having me here and have this uh, uh, interesting, great discussion. I'm Lefterios. I'm the founder and CEO of Prometheus Space Technologies. Um, we are a deep tech space startup that uh, we use um, uh, um, data, uh, space technology, and artificial intelligence to prevent environmental disasters from happening and help create a safe world for all. Uh, our current uh, work is an advanced wildfire um, risk management uh, software platform, and we have high hopes to provide a vital solution to the uh, in keep increasing and huge problem of uh, the wildfire devastating effects. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. Last time, I think we left mm -hmm. off in terms of solutions once the forest fire is on, because yeah, obviously it's prevention. Um, so let's talk about the prevention side first. Let's say that the satellites detect that there's unusual temperature there, there's the winds, there's all the conditions for the perfect fire. Um, what can we do to prevent that fire? Because, you know, I had wild ideas like um, floating balloon with some kind of material that would block the sun, right? So that it would absorb all the energy and do not have these trees catch fire. It would have to be gigantic, uh, this, this mm -hmm. kind of wall, you know, which would obscure this whole... Uh, the, which would obscure kilometers and kilometers. Um, and I mean, it could it could be like higher in space so that the, the coverage is, is higher. But what do you think about that solution? Is it sci-fi or could we have something like that to actually prevent um, mm -hmm. fires or, or artificial clouds? You know, like these are the two that I would think to, to not have the fire spread. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, those two uh, things uh, that uh, you have made, it's uh, brilliant ideas. However, at the same time, we, we need to, to have a, a relatively low cost uh, budget in order to create that kind of technology. And what you just described uh, needs a huge amount of financial support in order to develop at the uh, in, in, uh, in desirable level. And uh, let me inform you that, uh, unfortunately, the government agencies worldwide are not so friendly in uh, spending uh, that amount of money to support that kind of missions. Instead, we try to, uh, to create with lower budget um, technologies and, and um, uh, project development to prevent uh, uh, the, the worst from happening. How we can do that? Um, the satellite technology, it's an excellent um, technology provider in order to provide, to help us, to give us all the um, uh, uh, right amount of data in order to try to prevent um, an incident of wildfire. Of course, we have million or tons of data but at the same time, we don't have the exact information that we that uh, the um, final uh, end users or firefighter departments need. Uh, at that level, um, uh, we try to use uh, artificial intelligence will, which cover that gap in relatively low cost. And uh, so far, the, the results are very promising and we hope for the best. Um, so far, um, we have tried in, in several cases, and uh, we have an, an uh, success, success rate over of 92%. This means that uh, actually we are uh, able to, uh, to to respond and prevent the uh, wildfire incident before it happens. And of course, for the first time, we have the capability to do that several days uh, before the incident. So far, the working pro projects uh, provide results for the next day or uh, at the best case scenario for the uh, next two or three days. We are able to provide 10 to 15 days agile wildfire prevention forecast with the exact 
um, GPS coordinates of the threats. And so as you realize this is huge, this is um, actually a real uh, value to the end user, knowing where exactly is the threat, why, what is the reason of this threat, and have uh, sufficient time to to uh, make uh, their moves, their action moves in order to mitigate or even better to uh, avoid uh, an incident. Right, and do you mean that firefighters and and uh, the fire uh, fighting forces are deployed mm. on the on the scene and take the appropriate measures before the fire actually starts? Uh, is that what you mean? And what would be these preventive measures? <laughs> Yeah, not just not just that um, uh, the firefighters. It's the last um, the last um, forces that confront uh, an incident. Uh, before that, we have homeowners, landowners. We have the local authorities. We have the communities that have direct interest to avoid an incident. So uh, they know exactly where uh, the threat could be, and of course where uh, the threat is near to their houses, near to their properties, uh, take actions such as um, uh, um, uh, clean uh, uh, the forest area from debris that uh, could uh, provide an, an incident. Uh, we, have, uh, we have the capability to provide them the, the, flamm for the flammable material analysis and know exactly what the threat is, uh, what they can do to, to prevent that, to prevent this. And of course, um, with uh, the higher highest rate of uh, of an incident, uh, we, we're starting to plan the evacuation route. They, they need to know exactly where which route they need to take as a last uh, action in order to save their lives. So we are able to to provide that these important, very important features, and not just data. So. Uh, we are proud that we are working to provide uh, solutions that actually save lives, and of course, uh, as a, as a following up, uh, save our our planet and the, the environment. Right. What about mm. uh, I, I have like two more solutions mm. because to me, Please. fighting water mm. with fire kind of seems quite archaic. Um, what about if they would coat uh, the trees and the, the nature with some kind of material matter that would prevent or slow down fires? And what do you think of yes. drones mm. led by AI that as soon as uh, smoke would be sensed, mm. these drones would be placed on the scene and I either mm. cut down these trees uh, and, and limit the fire like humans would or spray down some kind, some kind of liquid? What do you think about these two solutions? So um, you are straight to the point, and I let you know. I, I, I gladly let you know that uh, that kind of uh, technologies and solutions are already in in development. Have already tested. Uh, the results are very promising, and uh, I'm pretty sure that on the following following time uh, they ha they will have a, a huge uh, effect in uh, in the confrontation because first we have. Uh, the drone, the helicopter drone that you said, and put in in the first seconds of an incident, and uh, and mitigate or even 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 better uh, uh, avoid uh, the continuing of of uh, of the fire of the wildfire, and of course the retard and um, liquid materials are really. Uh, already uh, in market in the market, and of course uh, they are more advanced more uh, environmental friendly than the previous uh, previous years and of course that uh, will uh, provide a huge assistance because even if we have an incident then the spread rate it will be uh, significantly lower so this will uh, will provide uh, um, the proper time for the firefighters to to respond effectively with uh, much um, much less uh, risk from their for their lives right so fires are so news. hard to to fight once they uh, become big so i guess like the earlier the better i could also mm -hmm. think of instead of just throwing water in the air which is completely pointless especially if the fire is big uh some detonating devices you know some little 
uh, bombs mm -hmm. filled filled with uh, anti-fire materials. So you drop them at the core of the fire and boom, these things explode in all directions with a chemical that would kind of suffocate the fire, which is, which is a goal. But um, so many solutions. And I do think that humanity is on path to, to fix that one. Thanks to folks like you, you know, um, that completes the second episode. Really grateful to have you on. Uh, Lefterius, where can people find out more about you and Prometheus? Um, uh, we are more than happy to, to meet and discuss and, of course, to provide more information about our work, about our intentions, and, of course, about our vision. Um, our website is the first, the best first uh, uh, introduction that um, anyone could, could take for, for our work. And of course, uh, we have the contact details for, in order to, to reach us directly and make a, um, a, a, a discussion about uh, all that kind of solution. And of course, all uh, in, in great and uh, interesting discussions, such as the one that we, we make. Our, mm -hmm. um, our website is uh, EO from Earth Observation Prometheus.space. And you can find all the relative material for our work. Thank you so much.